Ready? One, two, three. He's a big one, guys. He's a big one. Woo! Yeah, baby. Team, it's uh, March 14th. It's absolutely beautiful outside. Um, unfortunately, I've been on a gnarly stretch of work, so I really just have one day off here, um, just kind of running around the house getting stuff done. But I am getting a chance to edit this video. And guys, it's a tuna video. It feels so great to look at some tuna footage. This is from July 9th. Um, what we did was we left um, a little, probably around 3 a.m., 3.30 a.m. from memory. We went right to our close-in uh, inshore bluefin spots. Uh, we fished till about, a, from what I recall, about 4 p.m. We came on back in, rigged the boat right back up for swords and an overnight trip, and we left just a couple hours later at around 1 a.m., and then we fished all that next day, all that next night, and then a little bit of that next morning, and then came home. So this was one of my um, fishing marathons this past summer. So again, this is July 9th, tuna action. Check it out. See ya. All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to New Jersey. We are off the South Jersey coast. We are in about 18 to 19 fathoms on a little lump here. It's around 20 to 22 fathoms right outside the lump. Uh, we've been fishing for about an hour and a half. Just started marking a couple fish, and uh, one of our live spots just got taken. So Eric's fighting him off the pal. He ran right under the boat. We thought we were in the gear, so I jumped in. That's why I got no shirt on. I've saved more than a few fish that way when we're, whoops, when we're fishing light line. <laughs> um, but it was just rubbing against the hull, so hopefully we're okay. It's kind of acting a little sharky, but we'll see. My big bluefin that you guys are going to see really soon kind of acted the same way. Sometimes it takes them a little while to wake up. God, I'm out of breath. <laughs> He's probably under it though. We got a lot of line out, right? Yeah. Okay. Start making your way this way, E. Do you feel it rubbing the anchor line yet? Nope. Not yet? Just start out. Okay, 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 low. okay. Make sure you're low. You're low. Oh, good. You're under. Good. That's perfect. That's actually okay. All right, guys. So back under the anchor line. We already did this once. There you go. All right. Now he might be making a turn. We might be able to get him to the back of the boat soon. Good, go ahead, you stay with him. Oh no, he's coming right back at us again. You sucker. <laughs> How are we looking, boys? It's definitely a tuna fish, man. I may just gaff him up here. What's that? You fixed it? Oh, I don't think we're fixing it. We gotta just hope we, we stay on, you know, where he doesn't make another run past him, yeah. So when you're maneuvering around the anchor line, the best thing to do is as you dip under the anchor, you actually want to really back the drag down a little bit, um, especially if it's rubbing a little bit. So unfortunately, when we did that, we, we kind of developed a little bit of a backlash. So right about here was a pretty tenuous situation. Zach made a real good decision just to real pass the backlash so that, um, you know, we were, we were on some drag that that wouldn't take us all the way to that spot so right, get, um, get this right away from me we're back in the game <laughs> I got, yeah i know it's tuna sure right, here he comes oh, yeah. it's nice it's a nice fish real nice fish big fish yeah nice fish guys all right now that's a pretty long leader so remember hey remember the circles remember that swivel remember the swivel there you're at it right there just remember the circles all right all right be ready that's it be ready whoa did you see that fork in the tail <laughs> that was cool remember that swivel okay yeah. circles swivel what do you, what do you mean sir it's, you'll well i'll explain it later oh really yeah big fish guys he's gonna be 80 pounds stay right on this corner see his circles so you want to try and turn that circle this way. No, other way. That's it. No, the other way. I want him doing this way. Really close. Hold on, hold on. He's big. Get him. He's big. Ready? One, two, three. He's a big one, guys. He's a big one. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> Woo! 
Yeah, baby. Woo, that's a big one. Wow. That's gonna go 80, I think, 80, 90. Woo yeah. Good job, eh? Good job, man. Woo. Yo, guys, we got that fish in like no time, too. All right, team. So just like that, we've been fishing about an hour and a half and we just chunked up a beautiful bluefin tuna. We'll get a measurement for you. But look how pretty that fish is, guys. Beautiful New Jersey bluefin tuna. Let's see where that hook is. Right in the side of the mouth. Look at that. Oh, man, we got lucky. Circle hook. Right in the side of the mouth. We got lucky, too. We birds nested on them. Um, I'm sorry, baby. We're going to use you. Zach, hey, come on over here. Hold your fish up, bud. No, wait. That's beautiful fish. Unless I think that, that fish might go. There you go. Right there. Right in the corner of the jaw is the circle hook. I'm going to get it out later in the interest of time. I'm sorry, baby. We're going to use you. That's probably 80 pounds. Got him, man. Eric did a great job. We fought him on 40 pound. That's 40 pound fluorocarbon we were using, guys. Yeah, much better over here. Oh, yeah. There you go, team. New Jersey bluefin, baby. <laughs> he, he did a great job. Great fish. Beautiful. All right, let's get, let's get that fish bled. And... Mike, you get the next one, all right? I, I didn't want to hand over just because so we, we had no yeah. margin of error there, too. If he got to that bird's nest, we're done. Yeah. So, Zach, good thinking getting back on the, getting past it. That was the way to do it, just getting past it. I'm going 50 even. 50. Whoa, that hurt. Like 54. Yeah, it was right around, 50, right around 54 inches, so probably close to 80 pounds. Yeah, Craig's was 55, I think. So that'll be close to 80. 54 inches. All right. Break the ice. Success. <laughs> <laughs> it's big, nice fish. Captain Zach, beautiful fish. All right, guys. So as I said before, on this lump, it's a no-name lump. Uh, I won't give it out anyway, just in the interest of not getting beaten up. But um, the bluefin have been here for for several weeks now. It's been loaded with life. I was starting to get a little nervous. You know, I didn't really mark a lot of bait. Um, we've been seeing so many chick birds here. Last week we had rays. Um, there's been whales, porpoise. I didn't see any of that. So I was really starting to get a little anxious. I thought about moving to another spot where I've been marking a lot of bait. Um, and just like that, I looked at the fish finder. I told the guys we got it between 40 to 60 foot. And just like that, we got bit. So um, we're gonna get this fish on ice. We're gonna get the baits reset. And we'll check back with you. But now we have our over fish, so over 47. So now we're shooting for 27 to 47 inches. So a lot of times they're either overs or unders and rarely mix. So we'll, we'll all right, guys, see. just like that, we're hooked up again. All right, so it's about I don't know, 20 up to seven, we're hooked up again. This fish wants to run back to the bow. So we're gonna do the do -si do again, we'll see. This is Mike's first tuna fish. Yeah, yeah we could probably, long, probably bump it up a hair. Yeah, the long ones are okay, I think. He's turning again. I'll stay right here for now. Oh my God, huge boil. Dude, he's right here. Did you see that boil? Yeah. Uh, he popped off? Yeah. Ah, he popped off there. I don't know if he broke off or... Yeah, he shaved it. That's okay. When you're fishing light line like that, sometimes that happens. You'll, you know, you'll get bites. It's okay. That's a hot rod. Yeah. All right, team, we, we broke off that last one. Uh, I was just getting the baits reset. Mikey's hooked up again. So hopefully we'll have better luck. This fish made a really nice run. Very confident it's a tuna fish. Hopefully it's on the smaller side. So we'll check back with you in a second here. <laughs> you gotta have Ace Ventura on. Very important. <laughs> no, all seriousness. So when you're chunking like this, guys, if you're getting bit on a certain pound test, so we started with 60 and 50, um, and we also had 140 out, and the 40 was the first that got bit, and now all three bites have come on 40. So um, a lot of times they'll get leader shy, but whatever size leader you're getting bit on, change them up. Um, you know, you may need to drop down. You'll break more fish. You'll break, you'll, you know, you'll break off more fish. You'll pull more hooks, um, but at least you're getting bit and you're getting in the action. You can sit here with 60 all day and not get bit. 
Uh, it's a tuna for sure. Keep chugging, keep chugging. All right, when he when he runs, he's still pulling drag, right? Yeah. Good, that's what I want. Okay. So you want to fight a tuna? <laughs> it's a big one, guys. This is another big one, yeah. Yeah, it's another big one for sure. Oh wow! Too big. I know. Yeah. Yeah, fish are too big. Yeah, fish are, fish are too big. We had to leave this spot. <laughs> yeah. Right? It's crazy. That's all right. I was reading the one the one guy apparently did some studies and they were actually saying that counterintuitively they say that the longer you fight these guys actually the better. Really? Yeah, I bet it's um I bet they get into like a more of a rhythm. Where they probably, maybe, I don't know. I thought so too. I would, I would think that, you know, you fight them, they warm up, and then I bet they, they can re auto-regulate a little bit as they warm up while you're fighting them. And they're in the water longer now as you have them hooked and they're like, okay, now I'm, now I'm auto-regulated. I don't like that idea. <laughs> wow! Look at that run. He's like, I saw that boat. I know what you're up to. Probably this won't be our under. <laughs> yeah. That's just, just a super mean. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's possible. I don't know. I see that rod bending. Oh, Zach, your rod caught a tuna. Both, yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, that's a that's a custom built. Rod, Zachy bought that rod and or bought the blank, I should say, and built it. What blank is that, Zachy? Good question. All right, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's a good blank. It's a good blank. It's a good break. blank. Didn't break. And we got the spiral push, wrapped. Guys. You can see. And he's got a 16 VSX on there from Penn. Hey guys, so we've been fighting this fish for a while now. Pretty sure it's a big one. So we're gonna go ahead and get off the anchor. Um, this way we're mobile, we can chase them if needed. I can spin the boat, then we're going up to the bow. So Mikey's doing a great job, just staying tight. But yeah, that fish is way stretched out there. So I'll use the boat to my advantage. All right, team, we just got color. Um, real deep color, it doesn't look too, too, oh wait, no, he's big, he's real big. Uh, I'll go ahead and try and lip, lip gaff him. And then we'll, we got the boat in gear, we'll, we'll revive them. You're doing great, Mikey. You're doing real good, bud. That's it, good job, bud. Right in that corner, if you can. Yeah, he's doing those big circles right now. Yup. You okay, Mikey? No. No? If you need to, you hand it off. You're almost there, bud. He's, he's doing nice deep circles, bud. You're almost there. You're doing great. Yeah. He went down. Oh! Popped off right there. Ah. That's okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry. It's okay. You didn't do anything wrong. It happens. Just like that, guys. Hook pulled after an hour. It happens. It's okay. Nobody did anything wrong. A little shaky, but not much. Half time. Half time. So we're one for four. We just broke off another one, guys. So we got one real nice school in the boat. Had that real big one, just that deep color. Definitely looked over 100. We pulled the hook right there. It's okay, we probably would have had to release them anyway. Actually, I know we would have had to release them anyway. We already have our over. Uh, but it would have been neat to just see them and be able to revive them. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, now we're aiming for smaller fish. I can't believe I'm saying that, but that's the rules. And this little guy has himself a Caesar salad. Where's my cut, dude? I'm good, bud. I'll make gonna... you one. <laughs> just joking. So we'll see guys, it's around 8.45 I think. 
these fish have been shutting down kind of late morning so we'll see what happens we're looking for smaller fish here we had a runoff that one broke off i was reeling in the sardine and we got hit pretty sure they're sharks the last two we just broke off so um we're gonna get mikey back on the rod um hope for the best maybe it's a bluefin you never know uh, every once in a while when you're bringing it in that that bait or sardine will move a little bit um and it'll get them excited so we'll see maybe it's our 50 pounder it's okay you feel any little like tail beats at all or what <laughs> yeah that's a shark i can tell he just he just whacked his tail right there you see that yeah. see that real quick whack that's his that's a shark's tail no oh, i want him to just lollygag right up to the boat 50 pounder Shark. Yeah. It's a shark. Zach, you want to make a move? Well, I'm asking you. What do you think? Yeah. I think so. The last four bites were all sharks. All right, guys. Zach, he's bringing up the anchor. So we can't even get a bait out, really. There's just so many sharks. Um, so it's, it's near impossible to just keep our baits out. So we're going to get out of here. Uh, we're going to push a little east. Um, the benefit of being out here so often is that we really kind of have a, a pretty good pulse on, on on the inshore water is going to and from the canyons and, and fishing here so much. So we were here uh, really just a couple days ago uh, when the girls caught those tuna. We stopped real quick on our 30 line and uh, we found a spot that was loaded with life, loaded with sand eels. Uh, we did troll off a couple mahi. We didn't get a tuna bite, but you know, it was really middle of the day. Uh, so we're gonna get on over there, try and uh, drop some jigs down and, and see if we can't get them up in the chunk slick. So uh, we're gonna check back with you when you get there, hopefully when we're tight. Um, it's a little bit deeper. Again, right now we're fishing in 100 to 115 foot of water um, out there. It's about a buck 60. So uh, maybe it'll have some smaller blue fins, we'll see. All right guys, here's where your balloons go. Let go of all these balloons, they all end up here. The most common thing I see out here. I'm always looking for stuff floating on the way So guys, that's the most common thing I see out here. I'm always looking for stuff floating. Nine times out of ten it's balloons, so be mindful of what you throw out. Alright guys, whatever life I had last week, it's gone. So we're going back to the first spot. Uh, all right guys we are we are tight to a bluefin on a jig baby he hit a ronzi so guys we we had him in the slick we just broke one off and i dropped down a ronzi and he hit it boy he hit it on the drop so we got a pretty light line here set up um we've caught him on this setup before so we'll see we got 50 pound leader it feels weird. It almost feels like I'm uh, tail wrapped on them or something. This is a big fish. Bud, I need a little extra line. I'm tight on a jig. Hit a Ronzi. We saw him in the slick. I dropped it down. And right on the on the descent, bam, he nailed it. So it's a little bit of a tenuous situation here. We only have 50 pound leader. We almost got spooled, but I'm getting some line back. So we'll see, I saw the fish, it wasn't huge. But again, we got light gear, so we'll have to see. I'm the curse on the rod. 
I'm a good captain, I think, but I'm a horrible angler. So we'll see. All right, bud. He's gonna do something funny here in a second. Spin me around, bud. Under the boat. Third's going. Yep. Oh my God, Jesus. All right, guys, so it's around two o'clock. There were only three boats out here today, which is pretty cool. Uh, the other two boats have skedaddled, so it's just us. Um, usually when the sun's real high like this, they won't bite, but I had a thought that they may just chew all day because there's no, there's no boat traffic at all, no one's trolling. Woo, look at that. And uh, we returned back to the lump and we marked them deep and then out of nowhere I looked in the chump slick and there he was, just feeding on chunks. If I get this fish, that'll be a pretty good feed. Uh, we'll see, all you can do is do what you know. Stay calm and figure it out. I don't know guys, I think we're outmatched here kids. Now guys, I promise you this, if we get this fish, I'm jumping in with him. I'll get you some up close and personal shots. There's sharks out here, I'm not bothered. Little baby brown sharks. I'm used to tigers and hammerheads and black tips down in Florida. And bull sharks. You know what it is? You just don't have enough lifting power, Dak, with this. Yeah. Like, you get to a point where you feel like you're going to just break the thing. I mean, like you said, though, the guy said it won't break, right? Yeah, that's the guy I thinking. Right. But I also think I'm not really geared for the big boy. Right. You don't get it. Yeah. All right, guys, I've been on this fish for... Probably what, 45 minutes? Hour, yeah. 30 minutes or so. I'm getting tired. I don't think he is. So we'll see. All right, bud, you see me? Yeah. At this point, I'm gonna try not to horse him. Just let the rod and the drag do its thing. I thought I had him there. No way. Oh, my back, fuck. Come on, fish. Why can't we just get 50 pounders, man? Right? Jesus Christ. You got it up pretty good. I got it up pretty good, bud. Yeah, pretty tight. I, mean, I don't want to break them. I'm putting a lot of heat on this thing. Any more, I'm going to break the rod. Uh, I might need to give, hit, give away for a sec. I don't really want to, but I may have to. Yeah, I'm just fucking tired. My back is killing me. No, I want to keep going. Unreal, dude. This fish has so much power, guys. This thing has so much power to me. It feels like a big eye, to be honest with you. That's what it feels like. The only thing I compare it to is the big eyes I've fought. By far. Ah. I, mean, I just can't get them past there. It's just no shot. I just can't. Forward, starboard, reverse. 
just a little bit. I gotta hand it off. I, I can't do it anymore. Chris will go up top. And then we'll switch when I get back, when we get up close. Woo. All right, Chris. Yeah, I'm good. I just, yeah. I was yelling like that. I'm just, I'm frustrated. I can't budge him. Come on up. Come on up. Get past that goddamn thermal. Come on up. boy, Zach. Get him. Get him. How cool was it when he came up top? Dude, that that. Oh my lord, guys, I had to give up the rod. I fought that fish for every bit of 45 minutes. I just couldn't budge him. Uh, arms are fine, just my back's just killing me. Uh, so I got Zachy on him now. Uh, huge fish, guys, huge fish. So we'll see, hopefully, I, I just wanna see him. I don't wanna kill him. I just wanna see him, get that jig out, revive him. Uh, I'm telling you, if we get him boat side, I'm going swimming with him. So hopefully I'll check back when we get this beast to the side of the boat. Um, super fun. I'm so stressed right now. <laughs> All right, guys. So we just saw him. He just changed his angle real quick. Finally. Okay. He just changed his angle real quick. Came right up to the top, and we got a good look at him. How's that, guys? Okay. Okay. All right. So we got a real quick look at him when he changed that angle. Real big, real big bluefin. So hopefully we can just get them above that thermocline and just start getting those circles a little bit more superficial, closer to the top. Hour 40 minutes, guys. Hour 40 minutes, man. Whew. Pretty sure I've alluded to this in prior videos, guys. Zach's a moose. He can lift anything. I mean, he lifts giant coolers that usually take three guys by himself. And that fish is beating him up. So this is this thing's a beast. Um, we've seen him a couple times. Hopefully we can see him up close. I want to jump All right, in. guys, we got him up top. Oh, He's beautiful. We got him up top. He's a beautiful, beautiful bluefin. I'm gonna get, hopefully, get right on, right on him here. We need him to stay right there, Zach. Anybody got a radio truck down We need him to stay right there. I right, shut up. We need him to stay right there. We need him to stay right there. Shut up. guys can see down there but that's a beautiful blue <laughs> down there that's our fish I don't know if you can see him but he's down there see he gets any here. closer I'm jumping in the water with him
guy's swimming right with us right now, Zach. I don't want to take the boat out of gear. He's literally swimming right with us, bud. Oh, he just changed his angle again. This fish is giant, guys. This fish is an absolute move. Holy cow, guys. Holy cow. Huge fish. This is just like the one I showed you in that first video, that 163 we weighed in. This thing is huge, guys. I just want to jump in with it. That's all I want to do. Get it close to the boat, get that hook out, and I want to jump in with them. Fifty minutes and change. Literally, the the main line parted. Um, that was a big fish, big big fish. The main line parted. Wow. Of all the things I thought would have happened, I thought maybe the rod was gonna break, or you know we'd pull the hook or the leader would break. Not the main line. I didn't think that. Not on real good depth hunter, you know, power pro depth hunter. But stuff happens. It's all right. So we're just pulling up our anchor now. Um, we're going to sprint on home. Like I said, we're leaving for the canyons in, uh, I don't know, eight, nine hours. So we'll go home, get the boat cleaned up. Uh, we're going to rig up some baits for swordfish, rig up some ballyhoo, and then hopefully get some sleep. So we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow morning. Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, I wish I could have shown you that fish up close, but, you know, that's that's fishing. We showed you that, that real pretty one at the, at the start there. So... Um, thanks so much for watching. This is Chris signing out. Hit that like button, subscribe. More videos coming. We'll All right, guys. So, Zachy's guns. Perfect, oh. perfect to the tail print. Look at that. Slap me. Smacked them pretty good. Look at that. Got me. Got to put it up there. Yeah. Like, got him good. That's awesome. So now we need a tattoo. 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 Match the other one. So team, initially when I saw those fish in the slick, I didn't think they were really all that big and I really just kind of half jokingly threw out that Ronzi on, on that lighter spinning rod, just, just again half jokingly. It literally hit the water, dropped down maybe 10 feet and I just went to engage the reel to start jing it and bam, I was in. Um, so as you can see, we were clearly outmatched. Uh, we don't really do a whole lot of, of jigging for tuna and topwater for tuna around here. We just don't get all that many opportunities. But having gone through this, um, and again, and that setup is perfect for schoolie sized bluefin tuna, what I would call, you know, 40 to 70, even 80 pounders. But that fish was probably a buck 30, a buck 40 easy. Um, and I know that because we just killed a 163 pounder uh, just a couple weeks prior. So I, once I saw that fish, I knew that that was a, a sizable fish. But at any rate, Zach went ahead and, and got a Penn Carnage 2 jigging rod, similar to what we have. Um, on our other Pen Fathom setups. It's an 80 to 200 pound braid setup. So definitely a lot more muscle than that um, Shimano that he's got on there in this video. He paired that Pen Carnage 2 to the, the it's called the, the Quantum Cabo CSP100. Uh, I wanna give you pictures to all that right up here. Um, and that looks a whole lot beefier. I haven't had a chance to look at it in person, but definitely think it's gonna give us the ammunition to really more comfortably um, land and be successful at jigging and popping for bigger bluefin and bigger yellowfin. So, so we'll check out that combo once we get it on the boat and get rolling. So.